creepy and crude. That's how police describe a man harassing women on and around UNM's campus. One of those women got so fed up with his antics, she has taken matters into her own hands. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live off university on the North Campus. Amanda? Well, Dick, tonight you can find posters like these all over North Campus, a warning of a sexual predator. It's a warning UNM police would like people to take seriously. It is a small flyer that's a big attention grabber. Yeah, it's really scary. I should get some pepper spray. It warns of a sexual predator driving around UNM's North Campus in a black car harassing women. UNM police say it's been going on for months. I walk to work and school through this pathway every day and I just, it's really disturbing and I can't believe it. According to a police report, the most recent incident happened a week ago. The victim claims the man pulled up to her as she was running along Tucker and asked if he could take her to dinner. Then he drove off, only to turn around and yell, quote, I'm so horny at her, before getting really vulgar. She called police, then posted the flyers. Is this a situation where it could escalate, you think? Yeah, that's, po that's always possible. And it's not just North Campus the guy's been cruising. He's also was seen down by the sorority houses, acting suspicious, getting out of his vehicle, walking around, getting back in his vehicle. Police say finally someone was able to get the license plate number, and they were able to track the guy down. He denied doing anything wrong, but the school didn't want to take any chances. Because of his conduct uh, towards the women on campus, he's been barred uh, from the campus. Uh, he can no longer come onto the campus uh, legally. And because of these flyers, students are now keeping an eye out. It's the shiny black car. Stay away from the guy in the shiny black car. And police say if he does come on campus again, he will be arrested. And Dick, we did find out he's not a student here. Back to you. All right, Amanda, the man is described as being in his late 30s or early 40s. According to UNM police, he has no criminal record.